everyone, this is Raven with Love for Stamps, and I wanted to do a quick video just showing you how to do this. Um, and basically what I did is, this is a digi, and um, do you see how it's like transparent? I think it's called varnishing, I want to say. I don't know, I might be wrong. But I'm basically, I'm going to show you how to do this just on a blank page. So what you do, let me even check to see if those are dry, okay. So that, and this is a Make Mayhem 5 Design um, Digi, and it's being released this week. It's super beautiful. Okay, so what you're going to do is you can use any regular sheet of paper, and I'm just going to use, um, this is this cardstock, and it's just white cardstock. I'm not going to paint on it or anything. And print out, first thing you're going to do is print out your Digi or your digital stamp onto really cheap, this is really cheap, uh, just printer paper that you can use for anything. Now, you'll see my image right here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut as close to my image as possible. And there's a reason for this. So just cut around it, and just cut as close to it as you can all the way around. I hope I'm staying on camera. Sorry, guys. I'm trying to focus on two things here. Okay. So this is what my Digi looks like. And it's pretty close. Right here, there's some white space, but that's okay. Okay. And then what you're going to do is you're going to get some Mod Podge. Or I've seen people use um, gel medium. That's fine, too. Whatever. It doesn't really matter. And you can use um, just a paintbrush type of thing, or you can use a sponge brush. And what you're going to do is you're going to apply the Mod Podge or the gel medium over the entire thing. Just completely cover your image. See, like that. So it's completely covered. And then you stick it down on your paper where you want it. Okay. I don't have my apron on, so I can't wipe my stuff off onto my apron. Um, and then what you can use is like a credit card or an old, um, just a piece of plastic. And make sure that there is no glue on the top of it. You don't want glue on the top. Okay. So you're just going to kind of take all the glue off, if there's any. I hope that works. Okay. And then I always take a heat gun. And try not to get glue all over yourself. Heat it up. Just do this for a few minutes. It kind of just not even minutes, I'm sorry, seconds. It just speeds up the drying time. And then I have an old cup here with water in it. Um, you can use that, or that's my pink, pink cup. Or you can also use, I have these mini misters, um, and you can get these at any local uh, craft store. And this is filled with water. So you can spray directly on there. I'm not going to. I'm just going to dip my finger into the water. And then what you do is you just dip it in there and you just rub okay and you want water so get more water if you're running out and you kind of rub and you just continue to do this over your entire image you don't want to stay in one spot for too long because then your paper will start to peel and I suggest trying this first on um, just like a scrap first so you can see what it looks like but you just go around the whole thing and you continue to do this until you have your whole image revealed or is the parts of your image that you would like revealed and then you just kind of peel away and that was just a paper towel there and it will start to look um, like transparent and so that's all I did with this one right here and that's why she looks like that. And that's why up here it can go through the um, 
the black. So it kind of looks like I printed on this paper, and it also looks a little bit like a, um, a rub-on. That's the way you would do it, and it's super easy, and you can do that really for anything that you can print out. But I did it here for um, some digis from McMahon 5 Design. And um, that's it. 